بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أهبت في الله from the very simple ways that we can follow the sunnah of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم is by invoking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow his peace and blessings upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions this in the Quran. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions this in his authentic sunnah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, he reported, <clears throat> the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The people who will be nearest to me on the day of resurrection will be those who supplicate Allah more often for me. And this is in Tirmidhi. Aus bin Aus radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported, The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Among the best of your days is Friday. So supplicate Allah more often for me in it. For your supplications will be displayed to me. He was asked, O Messenger of Allah, how will our blessings be displayed to you when your decayed body will have been mixed with the earth? The Prophet ﷺ replied, Allah has prohibited the earth from consuming the bodies of prophets. Ruahu Dawood, Abu Dawood. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, May his nose soil with dust in whose presence mention is made of me and he does not supplicate for me. Ruah Tirmidhi. So Ahabat Tifilah, this shows us the importance of whenever we hear the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's name, that we praise the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by invoking Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and saying Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam may uh, peace and blessings be upon him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam we, this shows these ahadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam show that this is mishroor that this is something legislated and in fact not just mishroor that these are also uh, duties that are obligatory duties. You must say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You must invoke when you hear the name of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you must say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or alayhi salatu wa salam or the various ways in which you invoke Allah for peace and blessings to be bestowed upon his final prophet and messenger alayhi afdal salatu wasalam. So it shows us that this is from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam regardless of whether walau kari al kafirun even if the disbelievers hate it walau kari al ahl bid'a even if ahl bid'a some of them may detest it or may not practice and implement it. So it's very important to habit to as much as possible as we see those fawaid that were mentioned in those ahadith of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we invoke the peace and blessings upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in hopes that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will forgive us and bless us to be with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on Yawm Al-Qiyamah and that he, Tabarak Wa Ta'ala, will bless us with the many blessings uh, that are gained and the high status of the one who praises Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam uh, seeks uh, peace and blessings for the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the one who gains this who, who does this that they will also be of those who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam may mention that they are raised they, they will be raised up and that they will not be the humiliated ones because those the opposite the opposite of that the mafhum mukhalifa mafhum mukhalif uh, is that the one who 
who does not mention the peace and blessing upon the Prophet Sallallahu that they will find humiliation as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned. And we ask Allah, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad, and bless us to be raised up with the Prophets and with the Siddiqeen, wa shuhada, wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, ala Nabiya Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.